Despite having been used in Canada for cosmetic purposes for over two decades, there's still some confusions about the nuances between neuromodulators and dermal fillers. Very simply explained, think about it this way. Neuromodulators are typically used to help with the dynamic movements of the face and the fine lines, wrinkles, and changes in skin quality that have resulted from years of making these facial expressions. Dermal fillers, on the other hand, are used primarily to correct volume, to contour, to define, and to enhance certain features. So they'll be used mainly to plump someone's lips, to accentuate a chin, to optimize one's cheeks, or to sharpen a jawline, for example. Bottom line is that both neuromodulators and dermal fillers are important tools in helping someone achieve their aesthetic goals. And the decision to use one versus the other, or both, as is often the case, is a discussion that needs to be had between you and your trusted injector. 